Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and first of all, they sent it really big. And I've already reduced it to make it easier for Corel to do. You can always enlarge it back to where it was. I've made it like five by five compared to 49 or 50 inches. So we're gonna see how big this item is. It's five inches. So we're gonna set our nudge factor on six. And we are gonna make a duplicate of that just in case we mess something up. Now we're gonna to go to bitmap and resample. And because I've made it small, it's almost 3000 dots per inch. So that's more than enough. I'm gonna to go to bitmap, convert to bitmap. You know what, I'm not even gonna do that. Because this picture, and that's why I'm doing the video, it's kind of a model color. I mean, it's sharp vector lines on the outside, but it's, it's not true whites or blues. So I don't know if you're printing this or whatever, but this will work. So we're gonna to go to trace bitmap, outline trace, clip art, which I use most of the time, it's gonna to ask to reduce it because it's so large a file. We're gonna let it run the process and on, on clip art, it's gonna take the detail to about 88. I'm gonna up the detail to 100 to get all those modeled parts. And I'm gonna hit okay, and then I'm gonna move our bitmap over. Now, I'm gonna to go to effects and contour and to make this work, I'm gonna have to left, left click, right click to use the contour tool. And I'm gonna use the smooth corner on the outside 0.2 of an inch. And you can see it's gonna make a contour. Now I'm gonna to go to object, break contour apart, grab the contour, and I'm gonna move that over. Now I'm gonna do just the opposite. I'm gonna to do to the inside rounded corners that 0.2 and hit apply. Now I'm gonna to go to object, break contour apart. Now we're gonna grab the inside contour. And if you were gonna print this, this would print and there's a few areas that are messed up a little bit. I just see that right there, but that's easily fixed. You've got a shape tool, just select those nodes and take them away. You can um, have it go right to the edge, um, delete some of these nodes Let's right click and convert them to, well, they're already curved, so we're gonna click on this one and we're just gonna bring this up and bring this out and bring this one. Matter of fact, we're gonna delete a couple of these nodes and then just take this one and just, and if you have X seven or above, you could use a smooth tool. Let's make it like 0.5 of an inch and you could smooth out that contour line, make it a little smoother, and then just check. Now, it did not go into the recesses of the flag, but I, you, can't, you can't really go too much further. It'll start going into the flag. So I'm hoping you're printing this because this would not engrave worth a flip, I don't think, but it would, well, you'd have to turn it to grayscale to print it, Let's just see what it looks like under grayscale. We'll go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, and we'll convert it to a grayscale. That might engrave, it might not, because it's really not black. Um, there are several ways you could change this and make these blacks and grays and whites. And uh, if that's what she wants, I might do a second video. But just remember when you use the contour tool, it have no color because if you do it with color, it tries to blend the colors down here between the red and the white. But there's your cut line and it will cut out and print. Hopefully that's what your plan is. Now right here, you can't see the contour line. Go to object, order, put front of page and now you can see the contour line. Matter of fact, let's just make the contour little line a little thicker so you can see now the hairline is gonna cut but if we put it, well, we don't want to put a 10 point, we put a one point line, you can definitely see the, the line. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.